And we got up close to him and he took off running. And then he turned around and stopped. And Pete put the sticks up there and he was facing me and I pulled the trigger. Good, good shot. Good shot. And we saw blood and we kept on going. Finally, Pete says, uh, you guys just stay here. So him and Joe, the tracker, took off after him. They took their shoes off so they could be quieter while they were going through the bush. They drove the truck on back to us and Pete put the uh, final round in them, put them down. Joe saw a uh... Um, zebra and a wildebeest. A few minutes later we we saw the uh, wildebeest and I could see the wildebeest cows to the left. Pete said okay he's coming out from the right. I said that one and yeah shoot and so I shot. <clears throat> they said it was uh, hit and went about 20 yards and died. We walked out to the road and finally got back to the road there and we were just sitting there. All of a sudden, Eugene goes, get your gun, there's a zebra. So I reached back and grabbed my gun that was leaning up against a tree. I thought we were gonna walk down the road a little ways. Eugene puts the sticks up. And uh, it took off running and then you could hear it running and it came like it was running back to us. And then I crashed through, and uh, Eugene <clears throat> said it probably went down. <laughs> I, I love hunting, uh, you know, over water holes. We saw a few animals, uh, diker, steenbuck. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, Joe, my tracker, goes, water buck. And uh, there was several water buck moving through the brush. So I got the gun up and got on the sticks. So I shot, and uh, he went right down. So it was a great shot, and it worked out. What a beautiful water buck. And uh, this, this hunt has just been something incredible. 
It is so unbelievable and I've enjoyed it so much.